Welcome back to Alam PowerPoint channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this simple and beautiful historical timeline presentation that you can do in any version of PowerPoint. In this case, I'm using the timeline of Chinese imperial history as an example. After you watch this video, I think you can create a good timeline presentation in less than 10 minutes. All right, first of all, let's insert a background from files. Now go to insert text box and then write the title. Here I write Chinese imperial timeline because it is the topic that I'm trying to show for you in this video as an example. Align center, increase the text size. You can also adjust the font style to your liking. Change the color to yellow. Let's make this title looks more stand out. So right click format text effect and then add a little bit of shadow. Here you can always adjust the shadow to make sure your title looks more visible. The slide still looks too simple and plain. So let's add a little bit more decoration. Go to insert. Here, I add a PNG cloud image from my device. Put it on left corner, adjust the size, and then in this color option, change it to yellow. Duplicate it and then move the new one to another corner. Let's insert rounded rectangle shape. Put it on bottom like this, get rid of the outline, and then change it to white. Add another rounded rectangle. Here, I'll create search bar decoration. So it's gonna be bigger than the previous rectangle. Remove the outline and then change it to white. Go to insert icon and then in the search bar, just type search so we can get the magnifier tool. Put it on right side of the rectangle like this. All right, now go to insert, add a new text box. In this area, I'll write swipe up to start. By the way guys, this tag is just a decoration because no one ever gonna swipe a PowerPoint presentation, right? Now add a new slide. In slide two, I'll insert one picture as a background for my files. Click on crop option. I'll make sure if the picture fills all of the background. This slide's gonna be introduction slide. So go to insert and then type your introduction text. In my case, I have my text prepared in my clipboard. That's why I'm just gonna paste it. Right click on the picture, format picture. Let's darken the background by reducing the brightness and contrast a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add something important. Let's insert a circle at the bottom like this, remove the outline and change the color to yellow. Duplicate it, adjust the new circle so that it's smaller and white. Put it inside of the yellow one. Now, draw a new rectangle shape at the bottom, remove the outline, and then change it to yellow. Insert a new text box. Here, I write introduction. Change the font, and then change it to white. All right, let's move on to the third slide. Like before, insert a new picture from device. Go to crop option, and then adjust the picture position so that it can fill up all of the slide. Insert a new text box. Here, I'll write this slide title. We just need to make sure the text is big enough to read and also don't forget to change the font. Right click on the text, format text effect. Add a little bit of glow. Here, I change the glow color to white. For the description text, just add a new text box and then type your text. Now go back to slide two, select and block this objects on the bottom, copy it and then paste it in slide three. Click on this rectangle, duplicate it and then move it to another side of the slide. Let's change this text to history year according to this slide title. Insert new text box. Here you can write down image information like this. All right, now here's the important thing guys. We're gonna use push transition on every slide in this presentation. We're not gonna use morph in this one. We're just gonna make sure if the direction is suitable for the yellow line to move seamlessly. For example, in slide three, instead of using the vault from bottom direction, I change it to from right so that this yellow rectangle will move seamlessly from one slide to another slide. You can use this principle for every slide to create good presentation with post transition. If you get what I'm saying, next step's gonna be much easier. Now add a new slide, insert a new picture as background. Click on crop option and then adjust the picture so that it can fill up all of the slide. Go back to previous slide, copy the title text, paste it in slide 4. Rename it. Add a new text box. Here, you can write your description text. This picture is too bright for me. So here, I'll reduce some of the brightness and contrast in the format picture option. Go back to previous slide, copy the yellow line and the circles, and then paste it in the slide 4. Now go back to third slide again, copy the smaller text at the bottom, paste it as well. Let's adjust the text position like this. Because in the next slide, the transition is gonna be a little bit different. Rename the text one by one. Duplicate this yellow line, rotate it to vertical, and then put it at the bottom like this. Now add a post transition, and then make sure it starts from right. It'll look something like this. Add a new slide. Here, 
I'll add some variation to the background. So let's change it to black. Go to insert and then add a picture from your device. Make it smaller. Go to picture effect and then add a little bit of soft edges. Here, just like before, copy another yellow line from the previous slide and then drag it like this so that it's connected from one slide to another one. Don't forget to copy the circle and then paste it in the fifth slide. Duplicate the yellow line and then put the newer one at the bottom like this. This yellow line is covering the picture, so go to picture format and open selection pane. Here, you can send the picture object to the top of the yellow line. Go back to previous slide again, copy the title text, paste it on the last slide, and then just rename it. Add a new text box and then write your description text. Now go back to previous slide again, copy the smaller text and then paste it on the last slide. In this step, you're just gonna make sure to rename the text so that it matched the way you're gonna present to your audiences in this slide. Once we're done, add a push transition. All right, add a new slide again. Let's make another variation. Change the background to black. Here, I copy this image from Google it's a famous historical painting from China. Paste it on the slide. Now, go to picture format and then add a little bit of soft edges. Just like before, copy the yellow line from the previous slide and also copy the circle and put the newer one on the last slide. The line is covering the image, so open the selection pane and then send the line backward like this. Copy the text from previous one, rename it. Insert a new text box and then write your text down. For the smaller text, I have it in my clipboard, so for me, I'm just gonna paste it. Now let's prepare for another slide. Duplicate this yellow line, rotate the line, and then put it horizontal like this. Go to transition, and then click on push transition. Now we're moving on to the last slide. Insert a new picture from device. Like before, let's decrease the sharpness, brightness, and contrast. Go back to another previous slide, copy the text, and then paste it on the last slide. Rename the text, add a new text box, and then type your text. Go back to previous slide again, copy the yellow line, and then paste it on the last slide. Move the yellow line to the left like this, so now you can add your text. Now add the transition, and then just change the direction. Alright, so we are done guys. So this is the China historical timeline presentation in PowerPoint. Easy right? If you want more straight to the point tutorial, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.